Hello, my name is Andrew Perkins, and I've been using the Laravel framework lately. It's a MVC framework for PHP. It does require PHP 5.3, so I thought I would create a few video tutorials to show you guys how I use Laravel, and hopefully you'll like the framework. To get started, we just need to go to their website at laravel.com and click the red download button. I've already downloaded this in advance. It's just a zip file, and you'll want to extract this into your web root or wherever you do your development at. I'm going to double click to go into this Laravel hyphen Laravel folder, and then select all of the files and folders of the framework here. I'm going to right click and choose to extract to the specified folder. I am on Windows and I use WAMP, so my web root is under my C drive, under WAMP, under www and I'm going to stick the framework into another folder called Laravel. And so we should be able to access our application uh, from our web root at slash Laravel. So once that's extracted, uh, it should work for you right out of the box. You should be able to view it in the browser. You can go to localhost slash Laravel and to access your application you actually have to go into the public directory and that will display the home page for your application. Now if you don't see this page or if you get an error, uh, don't worry, I'll be going over some more configuration options that you can fiddle with in a few minutes. Uh, so it should work for you though, right out of the box, so you shouldn't have much problems. But the one configuration option that you should always set is to make sure you have a unique application key. So we're going to need to open our text editor so that we can edit the framework files. Uh, I'll be using the Sublime Text 2 editor, you can use whatever editor you would like. Uh, I choose to launch Sublime from my command prompt as this allows me to both open Sublime and the files that I want to edit at the same time. So I'm going to change directories into my web root and into our Laravel application folder. And from here I can run the Sublime command with a period and that will launch Sublime and open the current directory. There we go. So we can take a look at the directory structure of the Laravel framework. We have uh, the application folder at the top, and this is where you'll spend most of your time developing. So it has the standard config, controllers, migrations, models, tests, views, and a routes file. Uh, outside of application, we have the public folder. This is where we accessed our website from in the browser. This also holds any publicly accessible uh, files such as CSS, images, JavaScript. This also has your .ht access file. You may need to change this depending on your server configuration. And in the root of our application, that's in the root of the Laravel folder, we have this artisan file here, which is actually an artisan command line utility program that comes with your Laravel installation. And you can use this for generating site uh, application keys or for migrations, as we'll do in future videos. Uh, we also have the Laravel folder here, which is the actual framework library files, so you don't want to mess around in there too much. Um, so to get started with setting our application key, we need to go into application, config, and open up application.php. And if we scroll down to about the fourth section here, we can see this is where we set our application key. Uh, this key is just a random 32 character string used for hashing and encrypting. So it just has a placeholder string at the moment that comes with every installation. You want to make sure you change this out. You can either enter in a random string manually, just typing it, or you can use the artisan command line utility to generate a random string for you, which is what I'll demonstrate here. So if you want to follow along, just make sure it's an empty string, save the file, and go to your command line prompt or your terminal, depending on your operating system, and then make sure you're inside of your root directory of the Laravel application and you can run php artisan key colon generate and hit enter and that will update your configuration with a new secure key so if you go back to your text editor you'll see the page refreshes and displays the new key so just make sure that file is saved and if we go to our browser and let's make sure nothing broke if we refresh the page you can see we get this error some complaining about unserialize and something wrong with the cookie.php file. 
this is probably a common error for people. The problem is, is that when we first visited our application in the browser, we had the placeholder application key. And then when we changed the application key to our new secure one and we try to visit our website again, we get this error. So to fix it, all you have to do is clear out your browser's cache and cookies. So I'm going to do that here in Chrome just by clicking on the tools icon, go to settings, go to history, and clear all browsing data. Make sure you're emptying the cache and deleting cookies, and just clear that data out. And then if we go back to our application and refresh, you can see it's working again. So a few other configuration options that you can set is you can use mod rewrite to remove index.php from the URL, which is what I'm going to do here. So if you're using mod rewrite, you can just leave this as a blank string. If you don't know how to enable mod rewrite, uh, it's pretty simple. You just need to go into your Apache uh, configuration file. That's the httpd.conf file and make sure mod rewrite is enabled. I can show you how to do that here on Windows using WAMP. Uh, WAMP makes it pretty simple. You just click on your WAMP icon, go to Apache, and they give you access to that httpd.conf file here. And you'll want to be careful in this file, but if you hit Control F, you can search for the word mod underscore rewrite and you'll see that module being loaded or not loaded. If there's a hash or a pound symbol in front of it, that means it's not loaded. You'll want to remove it and load this module, save the file, close it, restart Apache, and you should be good to go with mod rewrite. Uh, another configuration option is setting your application URL. You don't actually have to set this, but you can if you want, as Laravel can guess it if you don't set it. So it's just the location to your application. Uh, we can get that right here from our browser. Just copy the URL, go back to your text editor, and paste it in here. Make sure you remove the trailing slash after public, as they request that it should be without a trailing slash. Save the file, go back to your browser, refresh the page, and it's still working. So the last thing we need to do is just connect to a database. So under application, config, open up database.php, and if you scroll down here, you can see this default database connection section. And you'll just want to choose the database that you want to use. I'm going to leave it as MySQL, as that's what I like to use. Um, but if you go down further, you can see the different databases you can use, such as SQLite, MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server, and so on. Uh, and you'll just want to enter in your database credentials for whichever database you're going to use. I'm going to use MySQL, and I can leave all of these settings the way they are as these work for my development server. I just need to change the database that I'm using. My database name is Laravel. I've already created this. If we go to the browser, you can see I'm using phpMyAdmin here, and here's my Laravel database. So once you update your credentials, you can save the file, and that's it for configuration. I'll refresh one more time to make sure nothing broke, and there we go. So I hope you found this useful in installing and configuring Laravel, and thank you for watching.